Are you feeling like you're stuck on the tarmac while other aviators are flying through Candyland skies, jealous of their sceneries? Is your biggest obstacle just installing the darn thing? Well, don't sweat it, because I've whipped up a tutorial that's easier than burning toast. Plus, as always, I'm throwing in some tips, because let's face it, we've all needed a cheat code at some point. By the way guys, my Discord keeps buzzing with questions about mod installations. Speaking of which, if you fancy a chat, or 50, there's a shiny Discord link waiting just for you below. Join us, we're like a living, breathing FAQ page, but with more personality. Welcome to Nocturnal Simulations, where every week we bring you 90 seconds of tech tips, helping you maximize graphics and performance within Microsoft Flight Simulator, ensuring a smooth and stutter-free experience at a whole new level. Today's topic is about mod installation, along with a bonus tip. Even if you think right-click is a political stance, I promise, by the end of this video, you'll be a Microsoft Flight Simulator mod installing guru. Ready to roll? Let's locate that elusive community folder, which I assure you isn't Narnia. There are three gates to this magical land. Number one being the Microsoft Store portal. Number two, the steamy realm of Steam. And three, if you're old school and fancy a CD, hello 90s, the retail route. Quick brain jog. Remember where you got the sim from? Great. Now, let's journey to the community folder. Your guide? the Windows File Explorer. It's that folder icon that's probably buried under 72 other apps. For the Microsoft Store adventurers, punch in this path. And wait, don't panic. Where it says your username, swap it with your night name or whatever you called yourself during the initial Microsoft setup. Steam users, your magical spell is this. Yep, your night name again. And if you use the CD like it's 1995, here's your treasure map. Custom install wizards, you're probably already floating somewhere if not, just track down your install location. Found the community folder? Great! Here's a gold star. Now, let's unzip files. Remember, zipped files in the community folder are as useful as chocolate teapots. To unzip, think of it as opening a surprise package. Right click, extract, and voila! Now, here's where folks tend to goof up. Don't nest folders. It's like placing a box inside a box inside another box. Annoying, right? Just grab the main folder and pop it into the community. Need a hack? I've been smitten with 7-Zip. Not sponsored, just obsessed. With it, moving mods is like sliding into your favorite pair of jeans. Download, right click, open with 7-Zip, and drag to your community folder. Easy peasy. That's the end of our epic quest. If you love the journey, consider supporting the channel. There's a buy me a coffee link below. I promise it's for coffee and not my rubber duck collection. And with that, Happy flying, and remember, if a goose can do it, so can you.